Imagine being able to harness the power of the sun, which has been the lifeblood of our planet for billions of years. Its energy, produced in a process known as fusion, illuminates our world and sustains life. But what if we could replicate this process right here on Earth? What if we could create our own miniature suns to power our homes, our cities, and our world? Sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But what if we told you that this is not a distant dream, but a reality that scientists have been approaching for decades? In the heart of California, at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, a group of dedicated scientists work tirelessly on this mission. Their goal? To accomplish nuclear fusion, a feat that could revolutionize the way energy is produced and pave the way for a future of clean, limitless power. And quite recently, at the end of last year, there was a breakthrough that could have changed everything, illuminating our future. Imagine our star, the Sun, 93 million miles away in the vast expanse of space. It is a giant glowing ball of gas that's incredibly hot. Have you ever wondered what makes the Sun shine so bright? The answer is both simple and complex, nuclear fusion. In simple terms, nuclear fusion is the process by which two light atoms combine to form a heavier atom. It's like taking two small Lego blocks and putting them together to make a bigger one. But there's a catch. When these atoms combine, they release a huge amount of energy. And they release so much energy that it allows this energy to power the sun and make it shine. Now you may be thinking, that sounds great, but what does that have to do with us here on Earth? Well, if we could replicate this process, we could potentially create a virtually limitless source of clean energy. Imagine your house, your city, and even your car being powered by the same process as the sun. That is what fusion promises us. But this idea is not new at all. Scientists have been dreaming of harnessing the power of fusion for decades. In fact, the concept of nuclear fusion was first introduced in the early 20th century by physicists like Albert Einstein and Hans Beth. Over the years, there have been many attempts to achieve fusion, from Project Sherwood in the 1950s to the first tokamaks in the 1960s and the construction of modern facilities such as ITER and the National Ignition Facility in the U.S. Each of these efforts brought us closer to the goal of achieving fusion. Although there have been problems and setbacks along the way, the dream of harnessing star power has never faded. And now with the recent breakthrough at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, we may be closer than ever to making that dream a reality. Just imagine a world in which the light in every house, street, and city is powered not by coal or gas, but by the same process as the stars. As we discussed earlier, fusion is a process in which two light atoms combine to form a heavier atom, releasing huge amounts of energy. But what makes the process so special? Why are scientists around the world so interested in it? Today, most of our electricity comes from burning fossil fuels like coal and gas. These processes release harmful greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, contributing to climate change. Such resources are also finite, which means they will run out sooner or later. But fusion offers another way. Fusion is fueled by hydrogen isotopes such as deuterium and tritium. Deuterium can be extracted from seawater and tritium from lithium, which is abundant in the Earth's crust. This means that the fuel for fusion is almost limitless. And remember, the energy released by fusion is enormous. Just one gram of fusion fuel can produce the same amount of energy as 8,000 gallons of gasoline. That's like driving around the Earth more than 300 times. Fusion could generate huge amounts of energy without the carbon emissions associated with fossil fuels. This could help us fight climate change and move towards a more sustainable future. 
the outlook for fusion energy extends beyond the scientific community. Political figures such as U.S. Senate Majority Leader Charles Schumer also recognizes its potential. He stated, this breakthrough is a giant leap toward making fusion power a reality. It marks the beginning of a new era in energy production that is cleaner and virtually limitless. The potential for our economy and the environment is enormous. With the stakes so high, it's not surprising that the fusion race is often compared to the space race of the 20th century. But achieving nuclear fusion is not easy. It requires incredibly high temperatures and pressures, such as those found in the heart of the sun. Also on top of this, for many years, the energy required to start a fusion reaction exceeded the energy it produced. But this is where the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory and the National Ignition Facility come into play. They're working to make fusion a reality, and their recent breakthrough could be a game changer. Imagine a place where the world's brightest minds come together to solve some of the biggest problems facing humanity. That place is the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, or LLNL for short. Located in California, LLNL is a center for scientific and technological innovation. It is home to thousands of scientists, engineers, and other professionals who work on a wide range of projects from national security to environmental science to, you guessed it, fusion. One of the gems of LLNL is the National Ignition Facility, or NIF. This is where the magic of fusion happens. NIF is the largest and most powerful laser facility ever built. It is the size of three soccer fields and contains 192 laser beams that can transmit more than 2 million joules of energy. 2 million joules is about the kinetic energy of a car driving down an expressway. So imagine the energy of a car rushing down a highway concentrated at a tiny point in a split second. That's the kind of energy we're talking about when the National Ignition System lasers go off. But what exactly does the NIF do? Its main task is to create extreme states of matter like those found in the cores of stars or inside nuclear weapons. It does this by focusing its 192 laser beams on a tiny target, creating temperatures and pressures that are several times higher than those at the center of the sun. The target is a tiny capsule filled with fusion fuel, which is a mixture of hydrogen isotopes deuterium and tritium. When the lasers strike the target, they detonate the fuel, triggering a fusion reaction. But the road to this point was far from easy, as LLNL director Dr. Kim Boodle says. The quest to ignite fusion in the laboratory is one of the most significant scientific challenges ever undertaken by humankind and its achievement is a triumph of science, technology, and above all, people. Overcoming this threshold is a vision that's led to 60 years of focused inquiry, a continuous process of learning, building up, expanding knowledge and capabilities, and then finding ways to overcome new problems that arise. These are the problems for which U.S. national laboratories were created. NIF is a marvel of modern technology and science, and it's played an important role in advancing our understanding of nuclear fusion, but it's not just about science. The work being done at NIF may one day lead to a world powered by clean, abundant fusion energy. So how did scientists achieve these results? Let's delve into the details of the achievement and how it brings us one step closer to such a future. In December 2022, something extraordinary happened at the National Ignition Center. For the first time, a man-made device achieved a fusion reaction that produced more energy than was consumed. This is known as fusion ignition, and it's really important. But what exactly does fusion ignition mean? So remember how we talked about fusion like connecting two small Lego blocks to make one bigger? Fusion ignition is similar to that, but with a twist. Instead of just joining two blocks together, 
you join so many blocks that the energy release starts a chain reaction, causing more and more blocks to join together on their own. It's like lining up a row of dominoes and knocking over the first one. That first knuckle knocks over the second, which knocks over the third, and so on until all the knuckles fall. Well, that's exactly what happened in the NIF experiment. The energy from the lasers triggered a thermonuclear reaction that continued on its own, releasing more energy than it took to trigger it. But achieving this has not been easy. As Dr. Arati Prabhakar, Chief Science and Technology Advisor to the President says, we have had a theoretical understanding of fusion for more than a century, but the road from knowledge to action can be long and difficult. Today's milestone shows what we can do with persistence. Once again, as the sun sets, we're left to wonder, what if we could harness the power of the stars to light our cities, power our homes, and grow our industries? But what would a world powered by fusion energy look like? First, fusion energy is clean. Unlike fossil fuels, it produces no greenhouse gases or harmful pollutants. This means it could play a crucial role in combating climate change and improving air quality. In addition, fusion energy is safe. There's no risk of meltdown as in a nuclear fission reactor, and it produces no long-lived radioactive waste. In the event of a malfunction, the reaction simply stops. We have an enormous supply of fusion energy. The fuel for fusion is water and lithium, which is in abundance on Earth. This means that the fusion energy can provide a virtually unlimited supply of energy, reducing our dependence on limited resources like oil and gas. But while the potential benefits of fusion energy are enormous, there's still many problems to be solved. Fusion reactions require extreme conditions that are difficult to achieve and maintain, and the technology to capture and convert fusion reaction energy into usable electricity is still in the early stages of development. However, the event itself gives us grounds for optimism. It shows that fusion ignition is possible and that we are on the right track. Thanks to continuous research and development, the dream of a world powered by fusion energy can become reality. But what does the future hold for fusion energy? Although the recent achievement of fusion ignition is a milestone, it's only the beginning. There's still a long way to go before fusion energy can be used on large scales to power our homes, cities, and industries. Future research will focus on several key areas. First, maintaining the extreme conditions required for fusion reactions is a major challenge. Second, we need to develop the technology to capture and convert the energy produced by these reactions into useful electricity. This will require overcoming numerous technical challenges, from handling the intense heat and radiation produced by the reactions to finding materials that can withstand these conditions for long periods of time. Another important step is to scale up these reactions to a size that could power a city. Designing and building a fusion power plant that could operate continuously and reliably is an important challenge. This applies not only to the fusion reactor itself, but also to the infrastructure for fuel supply, energy capture and conversion, and waste management. However, the potential benefits are enormous. Fusion energy could revolutionize our energy system, providing a virtually unlimited supply of clean and safe energy. It could help us fight climate change, improve air quality, and reduce our dependence on limited resources such as oil and gas. The road to fusion energy is a marathon, not a sprint. It will require continued investment in research and development, cooperation among scientists around the world, and the support of politicians and the public. But still, a promising start has been made. The recent breakthrough at the National Ignition Facility is a beacon of hope, lighting the way toward a future based on clean, abundant energy. And the farther we look into the future, the brighter the prospects for fusion energy shine. One thing is certain, the day will come when star power will no longer be a distant dream 
but a reality within our reach.